Wow. <laughs> Our job since Monday has been to help you get through the stress of the week. So it's only right that we are also here on Friday to take you into the weekend. Think of us as friends who are here for you through the good and the bad. That's so true. <laughs> Everything that could possibly make your day better is what we offer here on Entertainment Splash. Well, except for money, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are looking for good laughs, good music, and fun all the way, then we got you. Yes, and on Fridays, we turn up. Okay, the energy stays high and the vibe is contagious. Ha! Don't just watch the show, though. Get connected to, yeah. you know, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are at TVC Connect with the hashtag Splash on TVC. Okay, that <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's start with the introductions. Yeah. So my name is Catherine, but y'all know me as Lady Cat, have real hotness. Queen Cat, have real hotness. Kate Cat, Kate of Ikate Cruise. Kitty Kata. Hey. <laughs> All right, the. It's your homegirl right here. Ooh. Get in here. Hmm. It's hmm. your girlfriend next door. It's a jewel in the crown. Ooh. It is the hostess with the mistress. Ooh. It is honey on point. It is honey sassy. It is honey body. It is honey money. Honish money. Honey <laughs> oh boy. Then, he'll please actually christen oh. me yesterday. Oh, 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 oh. Honey Listen. Indonesia. Uh -uh. So you see all those Igbo hey. boys effects like, you know, mm. don't do my leg, like in a cock, in a cock. So it speaks the money already. I mean, it speaks volume. Mm. So I'll just leave some space for Dala. <laughs> so introduce yourself. <laughs> so that, you Dala, know. Dala, you're the small space. The small space. My name is Dala. Don't worry. All right, let's go, Dala. Okay, the goddess of skills. So we call me the goddess or Dala, la, 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 yeah. All right, guys, here's what we have lined up for you all today. We will be dishing out first the entertainment news, then checking out celebrity birthdays. Also, we will be rewinding to this day in entertainment history. We will then be having a guest joining us, after which I will be in charge of social view for today. And later, following the tradition, one of us will show gratitude on the Choi Top segment, followed by the news recap. On today's Daily Tip 5, we will be talking about five places you forget to clean at home. We'll then be having our second guest for today. Then we'll be wrapping it all up with today's Happiness, Happiness is free. free Reminder! Let's do this, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, spanking new right there by Mayor for featuring Victor Tony. And, and I that's the only father, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and all the cars they used so in there. So this is my thing. When you have boy director, and shout out to Sam Z Beats for yeah. the beat. When you have boy director direct a video, this is the kind of energy you get. Of like, course. It is a lot. Yummy. It is love a lot. It. I don't know I how to describe it. Colors, Colorful. Colors, every, and I love the fact that the hair was matching the colors in the church. It was, <laughs> yes. it, it, it was a lot to take in and amazing to watch. See, and when Vittoni got up from the wheelchair, yes. man, man was passed out. Oh that was a moment. Yes, that, that was the colors working. <laughs> the cars, oh, they are so fascinating to me. I mean, they even, the, even the crash plane. Love, 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 See, love, the love. video just came love. out. Um, if yeah. you haven't seen it, definitely go check yeah. it out. Amazing one from the entire... Uh, uh, Blazing the Red Hot. Blazing the Red Hot on our radar right here on Instagram Splash. You know we've got you covered. We promised you now. I mean, how do you want it? Help us come through. <laughs> no. yeah. All right, guys. Let's get straight into the entertainment news. Sami Okoso deactivates Instagram and Twitter accounts. Now, Nigerian gospel singer Sami Okoso has deleted his social media pages. You will recall he was accused of having an affair with American based lady who is now pregnant with his baby and this scandal kind of is rocking his marriage. Earlier this week the singer took to his Instagram page to apologize to his wife for cheating and he even went on to announce that he will be taking a break from the ministry's work to seek restoration. However, a look at his Instagram some hours later showed that the post had been deleted and now the singer has deleted his Instagram and Twitter pages which could be as a result of the attacks he got from social media users. His trouble started when an American-based lady by the alias African Doll revealed in an interview that she was carrying his baby. She said they met during one of his tours in the United States of America. Got close 
had an affair and it led to said pregnancy. She then broke the news to the gospel singer, who allegedly asked her to do what needs to be done, which in turn made their relationship sour. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so I've been seeing the, the comments, uh, people doing the wellu wellu, like yeah. using it like they see. I completely understand him wanting to leave social media. I mean, social media is a lot. People live for this kind of drama. People live to drag you when things like this happen. So I'm not surprised. Now, when they say they expected her to do, do the needful, what is the needful? Uh, he, so you we learned wanted that to, yes, so he wanted to get rid of the yeah. baby. And then he blocked her. He tried not to have a conversation with her. So now you apologize to your wife online, which a lot of people have a problem with. Like, it's your wife. Go and meet her. Exactly. You now deleted the apology. Then I think people might have even dragged him for deleting the apology as well. What? So now he now deleted the entire thing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, things like this, I just always feel like from the beginning, like the get-go, they're very avoidable. Yes, it's very avoidable. Just and avoid it. now that it all has happened, the lady has come out to say she's keeping the baby. Mm -hmm. And that was when he now said that, you know what, when you have the baby, we'll do a DNA to find out if it's my baby. So the whole thing is just dicey. There's just too many things. And let's just hope he's okay. Because for yeah. him to delete his social media pages, that means he might be going through some emotional yeah, I mean, that's stuff. that's years of work. You just... I totally yeah. agree that that's a lot because we all know what social media is capable mm -hmm. of doing mm -hmm. to you, even when you are just sitting down and you have not offended anybody. Yeah. Exactly. You know what it can do to you. <laughs> so, I mean, anything that rocks is better at the end of today. Yeah, mm -hmm. very true. All right, still on the entertainment news, Cardi B issues statements after lawsuits win. American rapper Cardi B is in victory mode as she has issued a statement in response to her legal win against flossy blogger YouTuber Tasha Kay, where she was awarded a total sum of $3.8 million. If you would recall, the blogger was found liable for defamation, invasion of privacy, through false light portrayal and intentional infliction of emotional distress. The statement by Cardi B reads, and I quote, After almost four years of repeated libel and slander against me, being able to walk away from this victorious brings me great happiness. I appreciate Judge Ray for conducting a fair and impartial trial. I'm grateful for the jury and their careful deliberation over the past two weeks. I'm profoundly grateful for the hard work and support from my legal team. Most importantly, thank you to my family and close friends who held my hand and helped me get the support I needed during this experience, end of quote. The rapper also noted that she didn't want justice solely for herself, stating that the, the intentional harm that was done to her is done to countless others every day. She also stated that her career was launched on social media, so she knows the power it has, adding that while social media has forged movements from Black Lives Matter to stop Asian hate and women's rights, in quotes, we've also seen countless stories of children and adults deciding to take their own lives due to cyberbullying and intentional attacks, end of quote. Just so you know, the blogger involved, Tasha Kay, through her lawyer, stated that they disagree with the verdict and they will be filing an appeal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the filing the appeal part, I just think is just trying to delay the inevitable. Word. Like, you've already been found literally guilty. guilty of these things. There's evidence, there's proof. There's like four years plus worth of videos of you saying things about Cardi B that you really can't um, back up. So, uh, I mean, she should just count her losses, take her L, and just keep it moving. And, and then, stay away from other people's business. And I think this should serve as a deterrent to bloggers who yes. just wake up and just, mm -hmm. you know, they feel it's a slow news day, and then they cook up something what? about you. Do you three guys? Hmm. I type my name randomly sometimes. And then, because I did it before, and I found something that's, yeah, I think um, I was on the show, it was my birthday, and then I think um, there was something that happened at the station at the time that we did not, it was a weekday, and of course we did not have entertainment splash. At the time mm -hmm. I was uh, the only host on yeah. the show. And then somebody said, oh, uh, yesterday was Honeypot's birthday, and um, she got drunk, and Whoa. that is why she did not come to work Whoa. the next day. It was day, not a work day, what? so what? Yeah, wow, so the that's... same way I tapped on myself Man. one day and saw that I was dating Minjin. I, oh, really? I found out online that I was oh, dating was Minjin. Was he a or what? I have no idea. We, oh, he literally, he came, so he came for an interview and oh. then we took a picture and then the next thing I saw, Oof. I'm dating Minjin. Just I'm the like, same way you became Charlie Boy's daughter. Oh, uh, yeah, so see. so... see, the thing with social media is people just wake up and they're like, okay, mm -hmm. I want this person to trend. And then when they start, they will sit on your matter. So this lady, Tasha K, sat on Kadibi's matter for four, four years. Four years plus. 
plus what? until this whole lawsuit came up and she decided, okay, well, I think I've had enough. And now you still want to contest it. Well, no matter how long it takes, uh, the truth will always come out. That's yeah. something like we need I to said, know. delaying the inevitable. So. Uh, that's right. That's right. Okay, that's all we can take on Instrument News. We now move on to celebrity birthday shout out. <laughs> First on our list in alphabetical order, we have Adekunle Gold, who is 35 today. He is an award-winning Nigerian singer, songwriter, and graphic designer. He is a strong force in the Nigerian music space and has been over time giving out the best music, which are captivating. He has several hit songs, some of which include Shade Oriente, Pick Up, Young Love, Something Different, Jewelry, Sina, Hi, amongst many others. He's yeah. also the Nigerian musician whose drastic change has made many fans love him more. Yes, yeah. the transformation, <laughs> right? Yes. The bro. So, so it's funny how, oh. and maybe Nigerian parents, you can drag me for this, but that's your business. <laughs> so I'll say this. I didn't like Adekune Gold with the haircuts. He, he just, no, it wasn't so the, working. So now that he has the braids, yeah, so that's the thing. Like, I feel like, What's that thing that they say? Nobody ugly, you. nobody ugly. <laughs> so the thing is, he has just found his Himself. style. So you see this this hair he has now, like this current braids. Is it's everything. It's any, That's a look. Any hairdo on look. Adekunle Gold is a goal. Yes. <laughs> right, moving on swiftly, <laughs> AKA is 34 today. <laughs> is a South African rapper, singer, songwriter, record producer, and entrepreneur. He has popular songs such as Fela in Versace and All Eyes on Me on to his credits. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if we're supposed to be celebrating AK because he's always abusing us. Yes. So, this, yes. No, 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 we've not cancelled in Nigeria, so we can we're, still celebrate. Okay, no, because we, yeah. are, we are healthy people. We okay. are. We're going to celebrate him and say happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Then they should take a cue from that. Very, yeah. very relief, right? Yeah, but I mean, he is, <laughs> talented. He is, he is, he is talented to be honest, like his Fela and Versace yes. is yeah. such a jam and yeah. Uh, yeah. AKA. I totally we love you, Shab, but not the players. All right, <laughs> Anthony Hamilton is 51 today. Oh, wow. He is an American singer, songwriter, and record producer who rose to fame with his platinum selling second studio album right there. I mean, great guy. Yes, great, great guy coming from where I'm from. Yes. Yes. Right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. I mean, that's not 51. Like, he still looks no, like no, maybe no, he's no, like 32. No. Yeah. He's still, I mean, he makes, mm -hmm. he makes amazing he's music. He's in the same WhatsApp group with Pharrell Williams and the others. Okay. Like. <laughs> Vampires. All right. Ariel Winter is 24 today. She's an American actress who starred as Alex Dunphy in the ABC comedy series Modern Family. She also provided the voice for Penny Peterson in the 2014 feature Mr. Peabody and Sherman. <laughs> yeah, Happy birthday. Very it's her eyes for me. Like yeah. She has such beautiful eyes. Happy birthday to her. Happy <laughs> birthday. We have a long list today. And, well, Chike is 29 today. Ooh. The Nigerian singer, songwriter, and actor is known for participating in the Nigerian reality competition project Fame West Africa and finishing in second place on season one of The Voice Nigeria. Chike has heard songs like Roger, If You Know Love, Running, Beautiful People, and many others. Oh yeah, my God, Chike, hey, is Chike's voice is, for me. Is, is, is is Chike's voice. voice for me. Ah, it, was, it was the day my mom said, oh, Mama, help me download this Running by Chike. What? I was of like, course. hello. It's not, uh, uh, calm down. <laughs> Your mom didn't know what's trending now. What do you mean? I, know. I mean, it's his voice. Happy birthday to, him. Voice, really. Happy birthday to Chike. Okay, DJ Crowd Controller is a year older today. Is one of all the celebrated DJs in Nigeria who would always make you go out of control on the dance floor. That's I mean, did you see that man? Him, DJ, like, yeah. crowd, crowd controller. controller. Like, he controls and he actually the crowd. Does. He That's goes. right. Like whenever I go to a party and I see he's the one playing, You're I know happy. I'm about to have a blast. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to him. <laughs> happy birthday. All right, Elijah Wood is 41 today. Is an American actor and producer best known for his portrayal of Frodo 
Baggins in the Lord of the Rings the film trilogy and The Hobbit, an unexpected journey. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. So I absolutely, so, so I, um, Elijah Wood, yeah, like, yeah. So I love how he was able to, because he played like a lot of times with yeah. Smeagol. Mm -hmm. So Smeagol now goes, the precious. I know. <laughs> so it was how the person wasn't really there. And yeah. then he, because he made it seem like it he was, was actually there. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely, uh, is a fantastic job, <laughs> fantastic job. Happy birthday! <laughs> All right, J. Cole, ladies, yeah, hmm. it's 37 today. Okay. <laughs> He's an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer. He has songs such as Love Yours, ATM, and Power Trip to his credit. I like how you say ladies. Ladies. Yes. Ladies. 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 ladies love him. Ladies love him. <laughs> Happy yeah. birthday to him. Yeah, yes. such a musical powerhouse. That's yes, right. Ladies. That's right. That's right. Okay, Marvin Sapp is 55 today. He's an American gospel singer, songwriter, who is also the founder and former senior pastor of Lighthouse Full Life Center Church, Michigan. He's popular for songs such as Never Would Have Made It, Worshipper in Me, Praise Him in Advance, amongst others. Hallelujah, somebody! Yes, hallelujah, Preach it! You. Sorry. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ah, thank you. Sing to me, sing All right. yes. I mean, get to me in the spirit. Yes. Happy yeah. birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Okay, moving on right about now. Rick Ross is 46 today. Ricky Rosa is an American rapper and record executive. He became MTV's hottest MC in the game in 2012 after founding the record label Maybach Music Group. He has hits like Hustling, Heston Martin Music and Big Mitch and Big Mitch. Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> so Rick Ross, I'll say his transformation from like health wise. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love, love it. I love, love, it. love, it. love it. Because like what? I remember like he would always be concerned. Of course. And then you know what? He didn't just complain, he did something about it. And he did amazing with Maybach music. Like That's right. they dropped so many songs. Aston Mark. Good artist, good businessman. Ah, ah. I, 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 I totally, totally agree. I mean, we could just go on talking about uh, Ricky Rose. But then we still have, uh, yeah, some people on our list. And Terry, the rap man, is 46 today. Hmm. Here's an Arjun Award winning rapper who came into limelight following the release of his album, mm. The Rap Man Begins in 2007. Yeah, is that, is that the face of a 46 year old? Does that I, just I mean, I mean, look, look at that? Look, look at that. At I, I, that. Thing here. Oh my. <laughs> That's right. It like, looks belie his age, and I love man. it. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday yeah. to What's him. Not to Happy love? birthday. I know, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. So Will Poulter is 29 today. He is an English actor who has starred in films such as Where the Millers, the Maze Runner series, The Revenant, amongst others. It's definitely the, the Maze Runner. Maze Runner. Series for me. Yeah. Like, definitely the Maze Runner. He can be one moment he's acting like he's dumb and doesn't know it, the next moment he's the one coming up with the smart ideas like, mm -hmm. How? Happy birthday to him. Happy birthday <laughs> and happy birthday to every single person celebrating today. I want we to say, totally I want to wish someone you. happy birthday. Sorry, honey pot. So, uh, Sarah on Max FM, today's her Ooh, birthday. Happy birthday to you, okay. darling. I wish you the very, very best. <laughs> happy birthday, Sarah. Happy birthday, everyone. We love you. We're sending you all the light, love, peace, and uh, we hope that it is a blessed year for you all the way. Right. Okay, so for a look at today's entertainment history, let's take a look at Rewind. Watch, 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 watch this. Let's Rewind. On this day in 1985, the charity single We Are The World was recorded by Supergroup USA for Africa. That's Michael Jackson, Leno Ritchie and other pop stars. And in 1989, at the 46 Golden Globes, Rain Man, Dustin Hoffman, and Jodie Foster win. And the winner. Finally, in 1991, at the 18th American Music Awards, MC Hammer and Jaina Jackson win. The winner is. And that's it, and we won. Watch, 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 watch this. Anyway, anyway, 
Ari Wokoni music or oh. MC Barrel. No man, Ari <laughs> All right, the birthday boy right there, Adekule Gold. All right. Now, getting here, people. Our guest today is the founder of the Afrocultural Association, an association which represents and promotes African culture in Switzerland. Aside that, she is a radio host who uses our platform to support and promote musical talent. Guys, so welcome to the show, Yvonne Azigo, popularly known as E. <laughs> Like <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, thank well, you so much for having me. Yes. I'm really well, excited well, to see you. all this bunch of female power over yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And you look absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Thank you so yes. much. Stunning. 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 I can only give it back to you guys. Oh, oh, like, oh, okay, let you. me go back to the dressing room. <laughs> 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 All right, so if I mean, well done on the works that you've been doing. Mm -hmm. I read up about you and then I uh, saw that um, uh, there are so many things that you're putting into, uh, you know, uh, integrating our culture, African culture in Switzerland. You're helping people and you're making them understand some more. All right, so you want to tell us what actually inspired this or why you started and uh, what this is all about. about. I think we should skip that question because that's going to take the whole day. Do <laughs> 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 not just summarize it. I mean, of people course, of course. I'm just kidding. So, yeah, my name is Eve. Um, I have a show called Eve Knows Best mm -hmm. in Switzerland. Ooh. It's actually a platform where I really promote African talents in Switzerland. So what I do, I play Afrobeats. I really introduce the music because we don't have a show. We don't have lead, really the sources. So all mm. we play in Switzerland is like American music, maybe a little bit of German and UK. So pretty much it's very limited. So that's why I said, OK, as Nigerian, my father is Nigerian as well, and my mom is Swiss. I grew up in Kaduna. And then mm. I moved to Switzerland with the age of 12. Okay. Mm. So it was very hard to integrate myself. Until today, I'm facing racism mm. over wow. there. So it's really, really bad. And I said, okay. And they really see me like pure black. Mm. They don't see any difference. They don't see any shades. Wow. So it's really hard to make them understand that the African culture is something to value. It, it's so vi vi it has so much variety and it's so beautiful. I really want to showcase it to them so mm -hmm. they understand where I'm coming from because I don't have to hide. Mm. I don't have to be like, no, I'm not African. I am African and I'm proud to be African. Woo! So I show them and really showcase it on all the platforms so how it started was with the radio show, where mm -hmm. I invited my friends, Africans. I said, come, show your talent, because we have so much talent. And I said, OK, come. And then they said, yeah, but Eve, you know, we want to perform in front of live audience. Mm. So I said, good, let's do it. Afro Summer Jam. It's uh, the first Afro open air in Switzerland. The first one, I'm really proud of that. And we are really introducing and also taking artists from over here to okay. showcase mm -hmm. not only the biggest, mm -hmm. but also the upcoming ones. Right. So oh. this is another platform that I've created under the roof of African Cultural Association. So we do events, we do also concerts, we do different integration things, mm -hmm. also for people that freshly moved over there. Because it's really hard. The language, they speak German, they speak French, they speak Italian, but they don't really speak English. English. So mm -hmm. it's and when like... they understand English, they are yeah. purposely yeah. not speaking it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so how long will you say that you've been trying to do this? When I would you say like 10 years. 10 10 years. years. What was it like when you started? Yes. Like, was there a lot of resistance? Like, nope, we're not interested in this, yeah. we're not having this? Yes, or... yes. They even, like, cut my shows, like, oh, cut out oh. some stuff. Because I'm really also talking about sensitive topics, like a colonial tax, for example, oh. that we are still paying till today. Yeah. And, and then, like, topics that they don't really want to face. Colonial tax? Yeah. Yes, colonial <sighs> tax. We are <sighs> really, really, and that we are suppressed as a country. Like, Africa has so much resources, mm -hmm. and still we are facing, like, there is a, a part that is poor because we are consistently, they are draining the country, wow. like, because of the That's... resources. So how comes we have, <sighs> we are the richest in resources, but still when it comes to economic, and et cetera, et cetera, the list is long. Wow, that's You know, crazy. this is like, I really try to, 
inform them what is actually going on. Yeah, mm -hmm. And I mean, Europe is not really like that innocent. Okay. Wow, you've and, been doing um, a good job, though. You've done a good you, job. Catherine. Your work is everywhere in Switzerland. And uh, earlier, you spoke about language barrier. So how does that affect what you do? And what are the challenges you've faced so far? How hard has it been? It has been very hard, but uh, as mentioned before, I moved there with 12. So I had like two years that I had to integrate myself with the language. So right now, ich red fließend Schweizerdeutsch, ich spreche Französisch. Also meanwhile, I can speak all the languages. <laughs> so they cannot beat me anywhere. Mm. Yeah. So if they come like, oh, miss, eh, 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 and they try to speak yeah. like, because they think you don't, you understand. don't understand. Already they are prejudging you yeah. wow. that you don't understand. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Can't uh, you speak German? Uh, uh, like, uh, can't you speak uh, German? Uh, uh, <laughs> I speak German. Clearly. Oh, wow. And they'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, it's, it's subtle. Yeah. They really or like, for example, if I ride in the train, there is seats next to me. They are free. They will rather stand before sitting next wow. to me, for example. It's really, really hard for us. So that's why I felt like, OK, if they don't support us, let us support each other. Yeah, and that's why true. I'm also here, because I feel like my brothers and sisters here yeah. will also be visible and able to yeah. support what I'm doing down there. Wow, so, I love, love, love what you're doing down there. Well, we need to go on a music break. And when we get back, Yvonne is still in the building. EVE. Yay. <laughs> guys we are still here <laughs> welcome back to the show we still have our guest eve right here in the building and this is a question i want to ask now now um i mean there's sports there's fashion there's all of that would you say that music is like one of the biggest like ways that you've been able to reach that gap between switzerland and africa because i mean like artists are doing very good now artists are doing amazing afrobeats is major what's the acceptance of afrobeats in switzerland so we know Burna Boy, okay. Whiskit, and okay. Davido. Mm. Tiva Savage? <laughs> Tiva Savage? <laughs> I know, of course, Tiva Savage. Oh, okay. I know a lot, <laughs> like, uh, as I'm presenting Afrobeats yeah. to the culture. But you will hear it maybe in some restaurants, for example. You will hear Davido, Burna Boy, and, and Whiskit. So it's not really big now. It's coming. Mm -hmm. It's up and coming, I think, like... Uh, Rema is up and coming. Okay. Mm. There is techno. They know techno. Nice. They mm. know now this new song Ed Sheeran and uh, uh, Fireboy. Fireboy. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> Finally. Oh. We did, like it's coming. It's really coming. It's up oh, and coming. Uh, so I feel like with great. the radio and with the festival, they are slowly being like, ah, there is something there. Yeah. There's something going on. But they are really behind clouds. So wow. we really have to. Force it, Force it to them, like, hey. So even with the fact that the songs are in English, they still accept it, right? Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of people that understand English, but not the elderly generation, oh. which is more like hesitating and, and skeptic and feel like we are all dumb and we can't speak the language. And, and really, it's, it's really bad. Hmm. So if you were to speak to an um, Afrobeat artist now and discuss all these issues with them, what would you tell them is the way for to bridge that gap? I would say to do interviews with me. Please okay. Please come forward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also having a YouTube channel where I actually speak with the artists about the problems that we are facing in Africa and what we can do about it. Because Africa is a continent. There are so many different cultures within that continent yes and i think that is a way and also to present yourself to common festivals and to be there just represent and yeah feel equal the problem is also that they often treat us as secondary people wow. mm. like second like that's not possible all and right we've talked you... about the problems we've talked about the challenges oh, i mean what, what's that really for annoying. you is there any gleam of hope Somewhere of course, okay. there is hope, and I think with Afrobeats, mm. we are finally on yeah. the map. Okay. We are finally on the map, and I feel like this is a communication mm. uh, source, a resource of communication. We can really communicate. Like, Bernard Boy does a very good job. He's actually addressing the problems within the songs. Mm. So, and I think they sound like, ah, oh, what? Ah, oh, okay, ah. Oh. And they're not even aware of the problems. 
yeah. often they are not even aware. And I think that is a very good, uh, that there is hope for sure. Fantastic. We just well, have to do uh, it. Thank you so much, Eve, for coming on the show. We really appreciate you. Keep doing your work and mm -hmm. we'll keep supporting. All right, guys. Yes, that's our guest, <laughs> Eve. We'll be back with Social View, so don't go anywhere. Stay here with us. Yeah. <laughs> we are on social view. Birthday yeah, boy yeah. right there. That's right. Of course. All right, people, welcome to Social View, which is time to get your daily dose of craziness happening on social media. So let's get right into it. And we're starting with this one. <laughs> At Valkin underscore, Valkin assistant says, so after collecting the number, what's next? And then bro underscore Ola says, viewing each other's status. <laughs> yeah, I have a problem with this thing. So people that collect your number hey. and don't follow up. There's one particular guy. Uh, hopefully he's not watching the show because <laughs> me have plans for him. You can't come and stress me, you stress my destiny, collect number, then you now... So that three, you know some people do that three days rule, like I won't call it to yeah. after three days of collecting your number. Then you come, maybe I'll block you. <laughs> let's not be mad, dear. It's true now. Thanks. Why are you wasting <laughs> my time? Let's not be mad, dear. And then I'm not going like... to give you the number. Ah. Understand? <laughs> Moving on. So, a very... Mim King makes his first appearance. <laughs> and this time he's looking like nothing spoiled. Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Let's find out what's making him upset. It says, the dog doesn't bite, always annoys me. Did you and the dog discuss that one? Did you give the dog somebody's leg to bite? And he said, ah, no, I don't do it. <laughs> you know, when you go to someone's house hmm. and they say, ah, the dog doesn't bite, just, just come, just come, Olga. I don't know your dog. Your dog don't know me. <laughs> don't tell me to say, good boy, good boy, Romeo, sit, sit. Romeo, not go sit. He go attack you. There's a lot of stress here. Ah. I know that Dala will not agree ah. because she will keep saying that uh, ah. the dog might be trying to be friendly uh, and be smelling. So, no, don't come and be licking so, my face. So, no, 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 honey, so, but when dogs are friendly, they jump on so you in excitement. One of, one of my dad's friends, uh, he's so afraid of dogs that even if he's one day old puppy, blind. <laughs> that cannot see. Was, yes, because the dog was already falling inside the bowl. He couldn't even see the bowl. Ah. Uh, he, he wanted to climb car. Hey, chain it. I said chain what? So ask him if he has had an experience. He has. Something he, has, he, he has seen yeah. someone have an yeah. experience. Yeah. It's crazy. Because even <laughs> dogs mold their owners. True. You win, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So son of David at Jesuit Niger says, Jesuit. Oh, he's French. Yeah. yeah. And Nigerian. Son of David. Say French, Nigerian. Nigerian. French in Nigeria. He <laughs> says, after I gave my wife a loan for businesses, <laughs> I have been eating chicken and cow leg. I didn't pay for at all. My man is telling me my money is gone. No. But she doesn't know how to break the news to you. So when you is it that she has quickly used the money to do business and she has returns already? Because this one should be scared. Because you look at the time frame hey. and how she is giving you cow leg. Hey. And chicken. Cow leg and chicken. Hey. Hey, but on, on the plus side, you're eating your money. Not yes, that she's so. to go and buy bag that didn't reach No, but there you. is and a then, way that you are eating your money that you are scared. <laughs> uh, the fear, the, but the fear did not stop you from eating the money. But think about it. If you give her a loan for business, you're yeah. still getting the actual money back. Yes, just you not are. The just as so, let me, so let me tell you something. I actually think I understand and I can relate because these days I don't buy unnecessary things. As much as I like shoes, hmm. somebody has brought shoes to me. I said, this January, I, I've not lived like that before. <laughs> I buy only important things, fuel in my car, fuel in my generator, hmm. food, auto, sleep, wake up, data. What else do you need? Drink water and mind my business. Of course. I drink water and mind <laughs> my <laughs> business. <laughs> yes, no. Okay, we have our very own Odula De Adekola and he has Jack Bezos or something. He says, going offline for a while. Call me if you need me. We will not get data again. Wow. Quite true. Wow. Quite true. Ah. Quite true. Ah. Very true. Ah. That's what I'm going to say. Very but true. It's true. It's a sensible Very way of true. saying, instead of because saying, I don't have data, I don't waste my because data. Because it's so, it's so much cheaper to wow. make WhatsApp calls. You can talk to somebody for six hours and you know to choke them. Have you so. noticed how data used to, these days? Mm, but you just open small TikTok and say, I'll tell you, your balance is, <laughs> the next <laughs> thing you see is, to try to get other offers, data offers, and they don't they give you offers, say, come to another, ha. Ah. That really vexed me. Please, let's just move on before I begin to vent and rant. So this guy is chilling. Michael Blackson is chilling. And he says, when you're at your friend's place 
and his mother starts beating him. Yes, so. Ha. So you are chilling. You have to. A holiness. No, you can't sit down well. Because yes, you, can, you can go and sit down like this and collect slap. You will so just. Hmm. It's such an awkward, ah. awkward situation. Because in your mind, what exactly happened? Am I involved? Is it coming to me? It's just a very, I'd rather not be here. Like, it's all those, awkward. let me sink inside. Ah. Awkward situation. Huh. Ah. Let's just move on, please. Mim King is back again. This time is a shock. Let's find out what happened to him. So, Faye Boy says on Judgment Day, God says, Mommy Gio, you've done well. Go to my right hand side. And Nigerians are like, eh? <laughs> like, Mommy, what? Mommy, like, yeah. you know what shocked you? Yeah, so there's a, there's a blog. Um, <laughs> And the one that's the uh, only person she will never follow. <laughs> yes. And then there's just so much tea on Mommy Gio that ah. is stressing me out. Saying that she's to chain people inside for I, this. I learned to. So. They, 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 and... they even found the boyfriend. Yeah. So they said, ah, so this is what Mommy Gio has been doing. And she's saying ah. that people so, should not. So all the saying, I will say again, it's still speculation because we are not there. We don't We're know. We're not there. But I don't know about this but one. But the things <laughs> Mommy Gio says, ah. Uh, Interview, she said, No, they tweak, but they're not the answer. But she said, going to hell. They think she's going to hell. But she said, I'm going to hell. That people that bab their head, their screen is showing on their head. So, you know, she has even said something about hell before that. Okay, Okay, so this brother is about to fight. Watch out! Let's see. Baba don't calculate. Please, maybe just get jam for run. H Magnet at 77 underscore Kaya says, If I answer three out of five, I will get more than 50. I can do number 3A, but can't do B and C. If I do 4A with 17.5 marks, I will collect B from the only way to pass in federal university. Very true. This mm. bros, you they calculate where. In fact, your head is dead here. It's you know, strategic. When you are trying to answer question one, two, three, you start with the compulsory question because now that one they carry weight. Mm. When you not do it, yeah. you not look at the marks of the other one. Which one get marked first? Okay, be like saying that this one I know, but this one get marked first. May I first do the one where I know them? Put that one as extra for my See, we all, did, we all did this. We all did this. My sister. We all did this. Because you're you looking know? at, I know one A, I know one B. B. That's C and B. I don't know it. Three, this four, one, I know this one, I know. Ah. Hey, I don't know B, I know So C. you already know your face. <laughs> and so you can get to face one number, you now do three as A, B, and C. Four as A and B. You now do three, three A, a four, four B, B, three C. <laughs> you now get letter of science completely. Correct. <laughs> and you already have the result of your test. Hi, in, in your, your head. head. Then when you now say another thing, but sir. But you people like this, when they come out of exam, you cannot start doing so that you're not going to Which one? Which one? Yeah. See, people like this, as they come out, they are. They don't reach the house there. Movement. You don't see them again. You don't even smell them. All right, guys. I need to wrap on social media for the week, meaning it's time to get into the second hour of the show, too. We will be back with more fun, so keep it locked. Welcome back to the show, guys. In case you didn't know already, this is East Flash, and we're just getting into the second half of today's Fun Field episode. It is now time to chew it off, and we love to end the week with some gratitude. Yes. And today, it's all about gratitude. <laughs> exactly. All right, so. all right, so what am I grateful for? I am grateful for grace. Grace in every aspect. Mm -hmm. There are some unforeseen battles that happen in your favor. Mm -hmm. There are people who fight for you and you do not know. Mm -hmm. And I am grateful for the grace that I have people like that on my side. You don't know them, but the fact that things are going your way, it's not by your might, it's not by your power, but it's by grace. So I'm just grateful for grace and I'm grateful for people who always have my back. So you still come to church, I don't know. I have to. Power, I have to. Your... It's not. Yes, it's ah. not. Honey pot. You have to be grateful because when things come to you, even when you've tried and it doesn't come and then it suddenly comes when you least expect it and when you need it, that's grace. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. But when you're trying and then you're like, oh, I got it myself. Preach your sister. Woo! Yeah, because it's not easy. When things come very easy, you'll be like, yeah, I can do all things. But when things come with grace, you know that you can do all things through Christ. Christ strength strengthens is you. You know it. Ah, I'm also grateful for family. We fight. They can be very annoying. They can be frustrating, but they can be a source of joy and happiness, and then they can be the backbone that you need when you least expect. Mm -hmm. My mom and my dad, hey, they are one of the most strict people in this world.
But when you least expect, they will suddenly say, oh, go. And I'm like, it's okay. okay. It's What's okay. going on? And it's I love okay. them. I love them. We fight and everything, but we make up. And the way they relate with us, it's, it's just amazing. So yeah. I'm just grateful for family, for Grace, for people that have our backs, and for people that are always there for us. Yeah, I mean, it's always good having a um, support system. A friend of mine left my house around like 3 a.m. Yeah. this morning. In fact, it was around 4. Then I said, you need to sleep. Like, so he came to pick up something from my house, and then we just started talking live and all of that. And then I just realized that, see, a lot of people can't have these conversations with some of their friends. Like, you realize that some friends that you have, they are just there. And then you realize that friends that you have that actually, like, they'll sit you down and tell you things about yourself that you didn't even know about yourself. And then it just pushes you and it just helps you be better. So it's nice to have people like that in your life. Very needed, very necessary. All right. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Your eyeliner is fine, by the way. Thank you, darling. <laughs> so uh, now that I have come to my TED Talk and you've enjoyed my speech. Can I call you offering? Because I'm sorry, ma, this is TED Talk, not uh, uh, church. So now it's not wow. Sister Ketchis, about to collect the offering. He well, this one, the name is the collect the offering. Well, you used to tell people what's up. Now so, what for you? What's up? All mm -hmm. right. Um, so as promised, <laughs> here is a recap of the entertainment news in case you missed it earlier. Honeypot, what did you tell us? Sammy Okoso deactivates Instagram and Twitter account. Yep, we also told you that Cardi B issues statement after lawsuit win. Yay. Right, we'll be back with today's daily turn five after this time out. <laughs> so don't you go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right. So I have a quick question for you. Do you clean thoroughly? I mean, dusting shelves, wiping the hub, and hoovering the floor is all well and good, but what about the spaces and levels in between? Sometimes the easiest place to overlook is the place right in front of you, which is very true. How many times have you found yourself looking high and low for a lost item all to realize that it was in your hand the entire time? The same thing can happen with cleaning. There are often vital areas that get forgotten during our cleaning routine. And today on Daily Top 5, we are going to tell you five places you forget to clean at home. This is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. Okay, so the very first place that I feel like a lot of people forget to clean is the light switch plates. Now, what's the first thing you do when you come home at night? Light switch, right? All the germs that you've accumulated since you last washed your hands will now be transferred onto your light switch for others to pick up. Light switches are a touch and go fixture in the home. While they may not look dirty, your light switches are harboring a lot of bacteria, so they need to be disinfected from time to time to eliminate the unseen dust and dirt that builds up in this area and to prevent the germs from spreading. This All right, is but very one true. thing I would say is that yes, it is true that you should clean, but you have to be very careful because I had an experience and I think I shared it before. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. it shocked me. You shocked you. Shock you. <laughs> <laughs> no, now it's funny, but when you have to it funny, but I'm I sure can it imagine. Funny. Yes. Yeah. And I was using um, one of the cleaning agents that we used to clean Whoa. the toilet. So it was actually white, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I, I think the easiest way to clean a light switch is to use uh, something dry. And then if you're going to use something white, you should use something that has a long wooden stick so that if there's any current that's going to pass, yeah. it won't pass or get to you. Yeah, I know people forget to, to clean safe. this because you sweep, you mop, mm -hmm. you dust everywhere and forget that light switch. Now, I mean, my light switch, me, I can't forget this because it's right beside where I do makeup. Oh, so it's right, like, right beside the bathroom. Yeah. So most times, I don't put on the bathroom light. I've just rubbed foundation on the switch. Oh, so, 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 you you so that one, you, you, you cannot miss it. You have to see it, mm -hmm. and then you have to clean it. All right, so let's talk about throw pillows. Mm -hmm. Yes, throw pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Washing the pillows we sleep on is something we are all used to doing. But our throw pillows, though, the majority of us don't even think about those. They may just be used for decoration, but they still accumulate as much dead skin and other undesirable skin as the ones you lay your head on. Wash them frequently to keep them smelling as fresh as they look. Okay, very true. Yeah. This is very true. Like people always forget to wash their trophy loads, mm -hmm. and especially the ones with the zip. Mm -hmm. The day you remove that zip, hey, 
the whiteness of the ones inside is already brown. So sometimes people use their throw pillows as normal pillows mm -hmm. and for other things, and then they start reacting to something and they're trying to find out what it is they're reacting to. You're not gonna do skincare. You now go and do skincare, everything, spend all your money, hundreds of thousands. You're very Only correct. for you to find out that it's that throw pillow that you've not washed since the day you bought it five years ago. A lot of people don't even know that <laughs> pillows too can be washed. The ones yes. that so you have acne, you have beads, and then mm -hmm. you're spending money as you said. Mm -hmm. And then then sometimes you get carried away. Yeah. True. I can say that I am neat. I have OCD, but guess what happened to me uh, recently? I was doing a video call with my brother, and my brother had to say that, ah, that your cousin. They want, uh, is it dirty or something? I'm like, no, no, you, until I looked at it. I said, what? <laughs> so you. I just get home every day, I am knackered, I do what I have to wow. do, and yeah. then I was not paying attention. The curtains were dirty. Hey. <laughs> it took my brother from a video call. I'm not like, do you know how many people I would have been doing video and then they'll be like, ah, ah, this girl, now the color, you know. <laughs> then one of the curtains, you know, you know, my mom and dad for me, like they can um, just come home and say, ah, this curtain is dirty, I even will go outside and be doing fine girl. You want to go and wear this? I'm like, nah. You know the color, I used to be white. <laughs> 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 All right, another place that you probably forget to clean is under rugs. We've all done it, seen something unsightly lying on the floor and kicked it under the rug before our guests step into the living room. Well, those little bits all add up and you'll be surprised just what hiding, what's hiding under your rug. You don't need to lift it up and hover underneath every week, but schedule it every month or so to ensure it's not hiding dirty secrets underneath. Mm. I don't, this one, I don't kick things under the rug. So my dad, he's very, like, he did, he did see way. So even the tiniest, like, can be one tissue paper from one thing that is white. It just affects it. My mom too is like that. So that's, we've always just been, always oh, it's a picky. It's, it's, my mom, it's, back then, when we used to have rugs, my mom would tell you, at least, if you can't do it every week or once a month, take like the rug yeah. and dust, dust it. it yeah. So by the time you put it, shoot, if you like, don't cover your nose, just go and carry it. Boom, boom. The amount of dirt that will come out of the rug, and then when you lift it up, the things you've been looking for for months that you find under that rug. Hmm. Yeah. Under the rug, it's, it's basically covering. like sand. No, no, no. There's also your hearing sand. stores, all those tiny, tiny things. Oh, that, that one. I don't know whether to say this is fun fact or something, something about me. Yes, when we used to have rugs like that, and then... I would sleep when I was much younger, and then I would not want anybody to step on it. I, uh, are you I have serious? OCD. Uh -uh. Yes, I do. Uh -uh. I do. So and I had it from way yeah. back. Like, so we should be flying. And then I would just be very touchy. <laughs> My younger ones would be looking at me like, uh -uh, what is it? Small, because they are, small rug where you <laughs> clean today. You know, See, the best thing is, when I'm only pot cleans the uh, rug, if she was in my house, I'll say, they don't clean rug, go fly, yo. <laughs> <laughs> they fly, yo. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about kitchen sponges and clothes. Yes, kitchen sponges are horrifyingly the most germ-filled item in our home. Mm -hmm. don't, fear, don't fret, though. This is easily remedied by simply soaking your dish clothes and sponges in boiling water with some disinfectant thrown in. Thrown in, you'll kill all those nasty germs and ensure your kitchen is a clean and, um, you know, healthy place. Yeah, yep. this is one of the most overlooked items in the kitchen. People feel, oh, the sponge cleans the, this, cleans the dishes, cleans everything, so I just have to rinse it. But the day that you soak it in warm water, not even boiling water, the things that will come out will shock you. Okay, so, so me, I, they use clean salt yeah, to I say, say the day you will. So this is my own problem. Uh, whether you like it or not, there are probably things that run around your kitchen in the night. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So if you use the sponge to wash your plates, keep it, I think the next morning is still... <laughs> Maybe cockroach will go and do backstroke swimming I on, guess on top of the sponge. The have even... Do you understand? <laughs> so... When it comes to like, even uh, with me, I say every time you pick up a plate, cutter, whatever, yes, yes, rinse it. Yes. As long as you went to sleep, left the kitchen I for about wash. 12, wash. 15 hours, and come you have to wash it before, hey. yeah. You have to wash it before you start to use it all over mm -hmm. again. Because the things that run through my mind, girl, <laughs> you can't hey. imagine. In my house, it, hey. it, it, even became, it even became a tradition. When you're going to bed, if you're the last person to wash plates, yes. rinse and clean the sponge yeah. and put it in the bowl. Uh, and I really do not like leaving um, dirty plates overnight. Yeah. I make yes. sure that everything is Very washed true. before because if you want to get rid of cockroaches and all of mm -hmm. these things, you should always put that into consideration. Of course. You have to be extra neat. Word. All right, top of our daily top five. Another place you should never forget to clean 
is under kitchen equipment and appliances. You can't avoid cleaning behind the refrigerator or under the stove forever. The cavity underneath our cooker seems to attract dirt and it's easy to accidentally kick peelings and crumbs under there whilst we're rushing around and trying to get things done in the kitchen. It can be easy to forget small spaces under appliances which collect loads of dust, dirt, grime and even food. Pull out your refrigerator, clean the coils with a coil cleaning brush and vacuum, then wipe down the walls, floor and all sides of the refrigerator with a damp rag and soap. Repeat this process for under your stove, oven, toaster and any other appliances. When you are sweeping your floors, make sure you don't forget to get under your kitchen equipment and appliances right to the back as well as food left lying around can entice rats, worse mice. Yeah. Cockroaches as well. Yes, yeah, very true. Cockroaches this one are is so annoying. Very true. Like <laughs> the, the day, absolute worst. The day that you move your refrigerator, you find mm -hmm. a lot of things hiding there. Yeah. People that maybe, especially people that have freezers in their house, maybe you put a bottle of water on the fridge mm -hmm. and then later you're looking for you're looking for a lost key, something. You find a lot of things behind your refrigerator. So, so it might it might even just be a refrigerator. So it's little things like under toasters, under yeah, microwave, yeah. Yeah. corners on the all toaster. those small mm -hmm. tiny corners. Mm -hmm. Because that's why sometimes you see that rats have dragged one bone from mm -hmm. somewhere, they've scattered it under. So it's the day you know it's uh, <sighs> yeah, so please let's just all try to remember to clean these places. Honeypot added curtains. Now that you said it, my curtain is black is the problem. <laughs> ah! <laughs> now that one they carried on. My curtain I is black, know. so now I need to go and shake it and look at it like uh, you are wrong. So yeah, definitely make sure you clean up all these places. All right. <laughs> all right, guys, and that's it on today's Daily Top 5. We will be having our guests joining us pretty soon. Let's go on a quick break, and when we get back, the show continues. Welcome back to the show, guys. Our second guest this afternoon is a Nigerian guitarist and music producer who is known for his treble guitar solos infused with high life, steeped guitar lines. He's associated with various top artists. Ladies and gentlemen, Fioki is in the building. Woo! Oh my God, it's Fioki. See, it, doesn't, know, it, doesn't, you know, it doesn't sound good in my voice. Do you know what I just oh said? Oh my God, Fioki. Like, oh if he came God. with his guitar, all right, <laughs> let me try. You know that let me try. Let me try. Uh, oh my God, it's Fioki. Oh, we're going to this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, have to, you have to add some sexiness to I it. I like, yeah. that voice. Yes. Oh, you know, oh my God, it's Fioki. Okay. Fioki. Oh, just oh my yeah. God, it's Fioki. You know but that you wow know, factor. What, when you hear okay. that guitar, when I wipe the guitar. You know, this introduction actually reminded me. This introduction reminded me of Fioki with the guitar. So imagine we introduced and said, oh my God, it's Fioki. And then it goes, like, interesting. Well Amazing. done on your words. Congratulations, Fioki. Yes. So I mean, uh, looking at, um, you know, what you do, you're a guitarist. And mm -hmm. I think that um, you have done something fantastic for yourself. Yes. You yes. have done so well for yourself. And why am I saying this? I'm saying this because, yes, we know that people play instruments. Yes. And, um, yeah, we say big ups to them. They're doing well and yeah. all that. But you took it a step further, mm -hmm. you know, by... Getting artists, working with artists, and then we know your name, you put that, you know, stuff on mm -hmm. it. And I'm like, wow, somebody is doing, like, yeah, you can be seen <laughs> as a guitarist. Mm -hmm. Yes. You don't have to always be in the background, like, playing, yeah. and then people don't know you, mm -hmm. and they're not applauding you enough. Yes. That's the reason why I had to come out. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, you can't be putting that amount of work, and then people don't even know who Word. you are. I mean, uh, how, wh when did you start to notice this and say that okay, I want to make a name for myself and yeah. I want to step out? I thought about it like uh, there are some artists when they open mouth, you be like, ah. so this person even they even recognize and pass me. Say. <laughs> then me, that I know about music, I know I have so much depth, the theory, the practical. I've been you pay attention to. I've been playing guitar for 20, 22 years. So everything that I have... Take I, your flowers. Wait. Uh, I no, be, I mean, the flowers later. Later. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought about it like uh, everything that I'm achieving today, mm -hmm. I started planning it like 10 years ago. That's why I see when, when you see such, such success and yeah. huge ach achievements, they didn't just wake up. When you hear yeah. a particular name, there's something about them. So yeah. I, I thought about it that uh, I want to use the list tool to make mm. a huge impact. Everybody's just in microphone. Let me just use guitar. Yeah. yeah. And in this part of the world, they don't appreciate guitarists, instrumentalists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you hold guitar, the first place you will think of 
church instrumental Choir. and bass. <laughs> That's the highest place they yeah, will see true. I said, no, no, I need to change that mentality and narrative. Very true. Uh, so how do I do it first? Study, and I decided to study the game, know how the system works. Mm -hmm. If somebody cough with the microphone, <coughs> they will appreciate it more than guitar. I said, but me, I say I need to look for a way that if I play guitar mm -hmm. with an, an artist, you must notice me. Notice, yeah. First, I need to make sure that I know what I'm doing on my yeah, instrument. Most important. Very important. First, Very. My, I got, got my foundations right. Then I started to see how I stand out as a guitarist. Mm -hmm. So guitarists, most of the guitarists see guitar as instruments. I see guitar as microphone. So once I hold guitar like this, in my head, I'm holding a microphone. So yeah. Yeah. apparently, once I start playing, I will have to make sure that I am singing with the guitar, not playing. Mm. So by the time, if I strike the guitar, I'm singing to a particular lyrics that we don't even know about. Yeah, so my wow. guitar has hidden vocals. So once I play, you say, ah, there's something about it. Are you playing to a song? No, it's not a song. I'm trying to assume I'm playing to a song. Wow. Then another, another mindset I had was, if I, if I play on stage with an artist, mm -hmm. there must be some melody that is sweeting you, that is connecting mm -hmm. to you. If you, if you are not listening to the artist, there's a particular sound that you're listening to. Yes. So I was, I was intentional about me, trying to push myself from just behind the same guy. Yeah. For so many years, from 2010, I worked on the band Scapegoat. So after then, I became the band's official guitarist for more hits then. Then I did go bed, David. Do, do, then industry used wow. to be, uh, industry used to be, if you don't play hit song one, two, three, they don't accept you in the industry. Yeah. So then we did Woju for Kizania, did Laie, then Good Time, me hmm. and DJ Kublon. We did that. Now did Duo for Techno, Wash and Techno 2. We did a Simi's first single, Tiff, to Jeremy, to Owambe, wow. Smile for Me. So, yeah, so, you can't do Orange uh, and Adekule Gold and pick up. Okay, so, so I love that you've broken this down. Mm -hmm. You know wow. why? I was on your Instagram page and I saw something that um, somebody posted. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, Fioki just came from nowhere. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And yes, he said, Fioki just came from nowhere and dropped a, a 10 over 10 album. And then your caption was, I did not just come from nowhere. Oh, go and do your research. research. So I like that you've actually broken this down. Because I was going to ask, what's the journey been like? Yeah, that's, that's it for you. Wow. So, so Simi's full first album, the old guitars, I did all those things. Mm -hmm. Adekule goes oriented. I remember Adekule goes had 5k followers. <laughs> <laughs> then, oriented, I said, who is this guy? Because he, somebody actually tell, he actually had to call somebody to call me. Wow. Uh, Oscar to call me. Say, ah. well, I said, what about Oscar? I said, I can call you. But wow. look at these guys are big stars now. Yes, they yeah, are. Major. So they, Major. They all grew up in my presence. Kizane was somewhere like this recording me when I was playing on Woju. Oh, wow. But when you see them becoming superstars now, I say, okay. It just makes you happy. Yeah, it makes me happy. Then I felt like, okay, I think it's time for, for, for me to, to start getting yes, my flowers. Yes, you can't even be yes. in the background. So I started featuring oh. them on my projects. Mm. And, um, so that, like, I keep telling people that, uh, what you give to the industry, you don't expect yeah. industry to give you back. Wow. So I didn't expect all these artists to be loyal to me when they become yeah. superstars. Mm -hmm. all I, I can use anybody to achieve any sound. So some of them actually responded, uh, I did very connected with Flavor. Mm -hmm. I did my first single, official single was Independent Woman featuring Jumabi. When I did it, I said, like, this baby, oh my God. So that one just <laughs> took me from being a guitarist to an artist. artist. So I now have two personalities, Fioki the guitarist and Fioki as an artist. Oh, wow. yeah, so, so I started dropping singles upon singles. Yeah. Then I said, I think it's time for me Drop album. Amazing. And the reason why I named the album mine is because you see the, sto the journey, the storyline, yeah. switching yes. from the bunch as a guitarist wow. to flavor guitarist yeah. and doing all those the flavors growth. albums. The growth. Did, yeah, did, uh, doing levels that, that was trending throughout last year. So what? I, wow. said, I said, let me call this album man because wow. I'm a full grown man and I turned 40. Now, man, you yes. Yes. I'm a man. <laughs> My teeth complete. <laughs> <laughs> my teeth come, my facilities uh, there, okay? Congratulations, <laughs> you know, easy. You turned 40 right. this year. Well. Yeah, January 10. So, yeah, so, it's been, it's wait, been, wait, wait, wait. So, so I always ask this question, mm. sorry. So what scream are you rubbing? Because, why are you, show us when, uh, 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 you don't look, you don't look past the I know, oh. but when I said, you, welcome to first floor, I said, are you, are you, sorry, check what you, you wrote on your card. <laughs> Are you saying 30th or 40th? I said 40. We've been here since. That's you know, it's I came into the well. industry 2008 through Star Quest reality show. Oh. Yes, with so, your group yeah, back then. then. So I've found really signed to Kenny's music. So I've been Very in true. the system. Wow. Oh, gee. All right. Yeah. That's <laughs> really amazing. Like, that's a great yeah, journey. Because yeah. I remember uh, somewhere, some years back, mm. I read that the person who taught you how to play the guitar 
you learned in two months, and then you taught him again. I'm like, a okay, driver. that's a fast learner. It works. So, a taxi driver. A, a taxi driver thought you had. Yeah, to pay and he taxi. taught him. Like he was like, I know the, more the now. Good, a year yeah. later. The good thing was that uh, I, in my my, I was when I was six. I had the opportunity to learn soft organization, soft and radio. Yeah. So before mm -hmm. I could even play any instrument, if you sing in a Yoruba language, mm -hmm. Alsa, uh. Igbo, I don't need to even hear what you're saying, but the sound, I could write it. That's why they say music is universal. Mm -hmm. language, okay. Yeah. So talking about your growth, mm -hmm. where you started from, where you are right now, you just mm -hmm. dropped an album, mm -hmm. and the album is doing well. I've seen one video, and I love it, the one with Le Belesh Mother. Yeah. And it's really amazing. <laughs> like, I was out with someone, and it was like, Who's this person? I'm like, he's been in the industry this for a while. This is a soft guy with glasses. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then I love the fact that uh, you've worked with a lot of artists. And yeah. this particular album is packed with 24 features, hmm. 14 tracks. Like, yeah. how was it putting the body of work together, getting yeah. this artist and all of that? You know, now the, the challenge right there is this artist, everybody wants to be at the top. Yeah. yeah. So for you to not still buy time at that time. So I want to do my album. They have their own personal projects. Mm -hmm. They are under pressure trying to drop a hit song. Yeah. They see, at least gave you small time to actually give you a song. I appreciate That's everybody amazing. on this album. Uh, some of them, they were so busy, I was precious, precious enough to actually wait for them. They always say, I feel like no vex. So, ah, I go do them, I go do them. That's oh. why patience is key. Yes, at the end of the is. day, everybody yeah. came through. I had some guys from South America, Gina and Alex from Puerto Rico, I mm -hmm. featured them with the classic, and Nelson Freitas from Portugal mm -hmm. with Mastercraft on that song. Wow. I, uh, Lyrica and Mawasama. Lyrica is from Netherlands, Mawasama is from Tanzania. So, hmm. why I did this was. You go touch everybody. My sound, <laughs> I think I have. Uh, my sound is very, very wide. I'm very yeah. wide. So, I didn't really want to limit my sound to only Nigerian Nigeria, territory. Nah, I need yeah. to break into those territories and tap into their platform as well. That's amazing. Fact, even even so, genre wise, I mean, he mm -hmm. had Nosa and yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Ah, so gospel. Let's, let's I mean, glory be to God. Fabulous, fabulous. We still have Pioki right here with us. Let's go on this break. <laughs> and it's to here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. We still have superstar guitarist Fioki in the building. Woo, 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 and you guys saw that Fiocchi. video, right? Strong the power of the no, 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 it was everything. Everything. Oh. Well done. <laughs> it was everything to dun, me. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. So, talking about all these tunes and all those bits, earlier you said something about uh, people listening to music and the, the sound appealing to them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you've been able to make your sound very appealing, you've been able to establish your name, your name for yourself. And you've been able to show people that this is who Fioki is as a guitarist, as an artist. Mm -hmm. So how have you been able to work with your sound, giving you what you need, like getting royalties, getting monies and stuff like that, getting paid for your sound? Yeah, I started recording with artists. I started championing songs on my platform, Fioki Records. I have my own record label, properly run. Not okay, because okay. the ones where they use smart mm. I get it, I get it. <laughs> well structured. So I, this is where I place my song. I have some distributors that distribute so, 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 songs for me mm -hmm. on my own platform. So and I'm a member of a publishing society in the UK called PRS for Music. Oh. And I have a publisher in New York. She's mm. white, she's British and American. So the music, the back end of the music, I've been able to structure it because before you start releasing content. You need to know where you're putting this content and what the revenue, the, you'd say, return of investment. Yeah. yeah. So that business part, I've been able to make sure that I structure it. That's well. very, very important mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. you know, we keep talking about this, especially when artists actually get older and then they run into problems like maybe health issues and all that. Mm -hmm. And you're saying, that, oh, this person had pain. But so how yeah. about the money at the end of the day? But then having said that, I've seen, uh, you know, people who play guitars, auction their guitars, like yes. in Sonia Day at mm -hmm. some point and all that. Mm -hmm. So I really want to know, how many guitars do you have to start with? Do you have names for them? Uh, what <laughs> plans do you have in future? Will you be auctioning some? Will you be getting money off them? I mean, I mean, talk to us. Uh, uh, the way you romance your, <laughs> your, yeah, your guitars. I what you're, where you're coming from. Like you said, you have names for them. I think I, I, I will start naming them. I never had any names. I, I, just, I, just, I just know that I have a special love. The one particular guitar has been uh, paying my dues. What <laughs> side that guitar work for songs? So it's, that one's uh, your big Good luck. It's <laughs> good luck charm. Uh, yeah. So how many do you have all together? I'd write eight guitars. I've given some out. Okay. Oh. Once I give out, I'll get new ones. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll nice. get new ones. So at some point, are you going to be auctioning? 
Yeah, yeah, sure. With time. This, that particular guitar, I'm going to be using it, using it because that guitar is legendary. Right? Okay, wait, so what about the training? training. You should stop giving out. Mm -hmm. What about training? Because you said you learned from me. Yeah. Taxi yes. driver, you went back to teach mm -hmm. him. As at, so. I started playing guitar in the year 2000. I moved to Worry, 2003, while mm -hmm. I was in school. I remember I used to do a seminar for just, because I'm not just a guitarist. Guitar is just like an NSAS hashtag. I have yeah. other personalities like music directing, yeah. live recording. I can do, oh. I can write book on bass, bass guitar Ooh. player. Wow. Yeah, wow. Have your, wow. your court chart and everything. So I used to do seminar back then in Worry. Mm -hmm. For keyboard, this is how you're supposed to hear yeah, them about dynamics, different how to sound on different genres of music. Because yeah. every genre of music has their own color. Hmm. The way you play on R&B, you're sounding like a jazz, a jazz player. So I taught them about climax and all that. Even saxophone, everybody. Oh wow! Uh, so, okay. but as time goes, went on. Mm -hmm. I, I was too busy to be doing that. Mm. I was planning a seminar for 2020. Okay. Yeah. Before Corona hit. COVID-19 can't come. See yeah. that. Also, so, so I'm thinking of a way to actually give back to the society. Then trying to lecture the young ones that are looking up to me to actually be business conscious. Yeah. Because I, the reason why I'm doing this is just for me to create an industry for instrumentalists mm, okay. and create value for them. When you see guitarists on the road, you remember Fioki, you still give them yeah, small, small yeah, value. You're yeah, you not going to see them less, less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I've been trying that's, to do. So I, I, think, mm, I think that's very important mm -hmm. because when you think of Yanni and all that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you, and mm -hmm. they're big. So that means you play more than a guitar, you know, you, you yeah. play more instruments. I direct vocals. If you are, most of the times, I'm more than a guitarist in the studio. When you see, when, when I'm in the studio with someone, yeah. we see this artist. But I needed to get credit as a guitarist. As a guitarist because yeah. I didn't want to confuse my listeners and audience. Because I needed to project that Fioki brand as a guitarist. Mm. But meanwhile, other elements, I have them. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, okay, so now, yeah, now yeah, that we yeah. know that you do a lot yeah. of other mm -hmm. things, apart from just being an artist mm -hmm. and a guitarist, what else should we expect from you? And then from your new body of work, videos, what else are you working on? Yeah, I keep, every year I keep surprising people. Nobody saw this album coming. So that's yeah. how I'm going to be surprising you. Ah, ah. Give us an exclusive. Shock us. Give us an exclusive. Okay. I'm planning to drop another body of work this year because this ah, one just. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay. 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 It's, not, it's not every song that made it to, made it to my album. Ah, ah. Uh, so some of the songs I will restructure them and put it on. Wow. Ah, ah. What about music videos? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. All. I can't really say all, but if. Don't go to your say at yeah. this time, because I don't feel now. <laughs> it is a miracle that just happened. I won't say Baba the year this thing. Make it come drop money for video. Oh, from all right, so let's say congratulations for making it on uh, Thriller's top 10. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Big I saw chat, that. Yeah. That was yeah. big for you, yeah. right? Very. Even on uh, TikTok as well. Well done. I have over 150,000 people jumping on this song. Oh, so no. this song. Crazy. Amazing. Crazy, well crazy. Well Thank you so much, Fioki, for coming on the show today. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your experiences with us. Thank and I hope that people <laughs> will be able to learn from this. All right, we will be back after this time out. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Very interesting interactive yes, one. Shout yes. out to Fioki for coming on the show. Yes, before we go, here is this week's reminder that happiness is absolutely free. <laughs> <laughs>
Catherine. Ah, uh, ah, -uh, except for at least. Oh, no, she went to me. Only for It was that one. She was so happy to do it. If you go to my comment section, they attested to the fact that it is shake. Eh? It is shake. Eh? We are still on. It is real time TV. I don't want to say what is coming to my mind. Only for it. Eh? My children everywhere. So, guys. From Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Yeah. If we don't do this, where else do they do it? <laughs> if we don't, who will? All right, guys, it's been amazing. Thank you so much for staying loyal to the show, for staying glued to your TV screens, your eyeballs keep us going. So I didn't do this alone. Obviously, I did it with Hannes Money, Honey on Pot, Honey Baddy, and Da La 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 The Goddess of Skills. It's your Lady Catherine, her real hotness, Lady Cat, Queen Cat, Kate, Ulti Kate Cruz. Till we come your way on Monday, you can always go to our social media platforms and go to our YouTube channel. And tomorrow, there would be a replay and highlights of the week. So guys, just watch it on TVC. Thank you so much.